I'll certainly be thinking of you this difficult week and will be for many years to come. So thank you so much. in a time of such bleak times that the legion provided a kind of a comfort blanket as well as the practical support it was the moral support and the kindness that meant so much to us all you've got to remember those that have fought on that war zone but also those that have got invisible injuries and burdens and it's not just those servicemen that have died while they've been over there well one's for the service one's for afghanistan and one's for iraq iraq are those your daddy's medals? Mm-hmm. Well, it's very special. You're wearing them. Thank you so much. Honestly, it's been a real honour to speak to to all of you. And I think I speak for the whole nation when um, I say just how proud you should be of your loved ones and for the sacrifice and the bravery that they've shown. And, you know, I'll, I'll certainly be thinking of you this difficult week and will be for many years to come. So thank you so much. We are still thinking about all of you guys, where you are, and the important job you're all doing. And everyone is very grateful. Uh, and I hope that we can, over Remembrance Sunday, remind people just how committed and determined and how brilliant all the people we have in the forces. What particularly strikes you about Remembrance? What does it mean to you? I guess to me, it means something so much bigger than myself. Um, it's something I try and articulate to my son when I'm making him lay a wreath on his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's starting to understand. Gorka has been serving alongside the British forces for more than 200 years. Remember, this day is the day where we uh, pay tribute to them who lost their life. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Well done to all you guys. Keep up the good work. And um, yeah, I've really enjoyed chatting to you.